Basil and the staff is wonderful to us uh, and to you. We want to thank all of you for coming out here tonight for this show. Uh, everybody has a lot of choices as to where they go to spend their free time and we're delighted that you have chosen this evening to come here. There are some uh, events coming up for Dale and myself that are on the program guide on the back and please check those out. And then just to, uh, to say again that the relationship that happened with uh, Jean and, and Dale a year ago when they worked together in a clinic and then here at the club was just kind of magical. Jean came out for the Dale Day uh, Bring Celebration Day in September, this last September and had so much fun, and it was a great surprise to Dale. Uh, but, you know, they just uh, have a real fondness for one another and great respect for each other's talent. <laughs> you know, this is really hard to do when he's making a stick over here. <laughs> but we'll, we'll move on forward. But, oh, he loves me, isn't that? That's great, I love you too. We pay her to say that, you know. <laughs> well, wait a minute, I, I'm kind of cashless here. At any rate, we have uh, been delighted in the first set, and Jane Bertensini, we love you, we're glad you're here with us, and we appreciate your musicianship and all the beauty that you bring into this world. So let's listen to some of that magic right now. Actually, what we'd like to do, uh, Jean is so well known, uh, both in live performances as well as on his records, for doing uh, many wonderful things with his solo guitar. And I think we'd really be remiss if we didn't take advantage of hearing some of that music. So I'm going to disappear so we can just listen to Gene play some solo things for a bit. Gene, please.
so far, that was, uh, I love doing this, and thank you for listening. Yeah. Uh, the first one was a, a piece written by Alec Wilder called The Winter of My Discontent, uh, which I just recently played at an Al Alec Wilder festival. And then, uh, what do I play after that? Streets of Lloyd. Streets of Laredo. Oh, uh, yeah, it was uh, the theme. There was a movie called Bang the Drum Slowly. And that was the theme for the movie. Uh, and uh, Bang the Drum Slowly is a lyric in the song Streets of Laredo. It starred Robert De Niro and uh, Martin Moriarty in that first film. I went to that movie because Adele <coughs> said that uh, if you have a cold that doesn't want to go away, you might need to cry. So I heard about this movie and I knew it was a tearjerker, so I went. And uh, I uh, really, I really did cry. You know, it was amazingly sad to see Robert De Niro getting sick and, and having to leave this great baseball team. And, and uh, uh, but the cold didn't go away. <laughs> I found out later that prunes are very good for a cold. <laughs> it doesn't make the cold go away, but it makes you think twice about sneezing. <laughs> Susan likes called Cavatina uh, from the Deer Hunter.
say what we talk about young and foolish. Or, but anyway, uh, the uh, the second part about that, I have that taken care of. But the first part is long since gone. Young and foolish. <laughs>
never been in love before. We're, we're going to turn to the music of Cole Porter and uh, see what we can do with You'd Be So Nice to Come Home To. We're in A minor, in case you're humming along. <laughs> Thank you. 
uh, are getting near the end of the set, and so after uh, a little bit of a workout with all the things you are there, Jerome Kern, we're going to uh, close the set with these foolish things. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Gene. heroes, one of the great guitar masters of, of all time, teaches right here in Colorado, and uh, he's here tonight, he's been here all night, I'd love him to take a bow, Mr. Ricardo is now over, please take a bow, he's a great master, thank you for being here, thank you for being here, thank you for being honored that you're here, thank you so much. Uh, I, will, I will say how much it's a pleasure, what a great joy it has been to have conversations with this gentleman right here. And it's been, so, you know, he, he's like, uh, we kind of right, run on each other. It's so great to be able to communicate like this. And so it's very nice to, to end it with a nice little kind of ballad like this. And uh, I want you to go home feeling love because it's what it's about. And we, as we say in Britain, yeah. <laughs>
help in uh, arranging to bring these things about. Where's Jerry Cusack? We wouldn't be, we wouldn't get anywhere without Jerry. Yeah. Because, uh, Cusack is a fine guitarist in his own right. Uh, you, you can ask Ricardo about that. <laughs> but uh, we again thank uh, Donald Rossa and uh, Tyler Gilmore and Matt and all of the staff here. Oh yes, and Wendy is here. We so appreciated the interview on Thursday, Wendy. Thank you. And, and that lady sitting next to me is Susan. We sure appreciate you coming in. But and anyway, great, great singer from out this way. Len Skinner is here. And yes, Len Skinner. A lot of great talent. Yes, Len Skinner. Uh, and I, uh, and what's your name? Andrew is here too. <laughs> Too, so we're, we're in good shape. <laughs> well, we especially thank you, the audience. Wouldn't uh, we wouldn't uh, feel that sense of uh, satisfaction for film without such an attentive audience? So again, thank you. We're looking forward to seeing you next time.